Hello everybody. Today I want to talk about the common problems on the BMW F01 a 2010 BMW 750i. There are a couple problems with this BMW. I as a owner and as a mechanic, I know the most common problems with this BMW. So there is uh, some of them that are very bad and some of them they are not too bad but most of them are bad so the main one of the main problems that this BMW has is and gonna be the freeze problem is the oil consumption this BMW with the N63 engine uh, with the B8 twin turbo tends to eat oil a lot of oil so this uh, consumption will affect most of the BA models like uh, 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 550i 650i uh, x5s with the uh, 4.4 tur twin turbo and the x6 with the 4.4 twin turbo uh, as well the 750i and the 750li this uh problem affects this specific bmws because the engine tends to eat uh oil we can say every thousand miles you need to check the oil level because there is a lot of oil consumption on these bmws is uh this is due a failure in the piston rings uh, uh, by design when this engine was built the piston rings were not too strong they're too weak and then and then uh, and then they let the oil go through the combustion chamber in oil consumption is there all the time so now the next problem we're gonna talk about is the control arms here 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 is the control arm there right there this one right here it's really hard to see this one right here this control arm it goes bad it goes bad really fast because this vehicle is too heavy it goes bad really bad it goes bad really bad uh, like in less than fi uh, fi uh, 50,000 miles it's gonna be bad because this vehicle is too heavy and it got strong brakes as you can see it got, there are very very big brakes uh, yeah, this and whatever and uh, there goes the battery this guy, I mean the the control arm goes bad really really fast then uh, the other problem especially if you have the 20 inch wheels on your car if you have your 20 inch wheels on your bmw there is another common problem which is vibrations on your steering wheel and the, on the floor and the seat this vehicle is so so uh sensitive so if you go in a bar road with this type of wheels you're gonna feel a lot of vibration on your steering wheel a lot is a really uh, bad uh, combination having this if you don't mind about it it's fine it looks very nice on your vehicle but vibration goes to your steering wheel and that's pretty much normal you have to go in a very smooth road in a very very nice road to don't feel any vibration other than that you will feel vibrations everywhere with these type of wheels if you have the 18 inch or uh, 19 inch it it will be a less vibration but still vibration is going to be there because this suspension system is too sensitive now the other problem we are going to talk about which is another problem that concerns a lot is the battery consumption this vehicle specific this vehicle doesn't uh, 
cannot hold the battery voltage for too long if your ignition is on because there are too many uh, electronic components then are uh, in, uh, in a, it's just, by the way the battery is located right here it's right here on the trunk uh, there are too many uh, electronics then the battery needs to fit all the time so if you keep your ignition on while you're waiting with your engine off the ignition when I should switch off like after 10 7 minutes because the battery voltage gonna go too low and it gonna protect the battery to having any further problems there are so many BMWs with battery voltage and uh, what are the uh, problems and it's a very common problem on BMWs especially on this uh, F01 model which is what which was the newer version uh, after the E series end and this is a F series coming on the new F01 so they have a really bad uh, battery uh, capacity even the battery has 160 uh, minutes of charge i mean minutes of uh, capacity to hold still with this vehicle it won't hold that much it will it won't take that long to get the battery completely drained so uh there is another problem then I don't know if of, uh, all of you know about which is the brakes sometimes the front brakes specific the front brakes here they don't wear evenly sometimes the out part the outside part they goes uh, they wear it wears so fast and the inner part still uh, in a good condition so this is due a bad uh, uh, the pins, the bad pins. They are not lubricated enough because these brakes they hit so much. So because there are big big uh, these with a big calipers, they get hot too much in the lubrication. Especially if you don't use you don't use the right type of uh, grease, it's gonna melt and your lubrication is gonna be gone so that usually happen with the front brakes but not in all cases some of them well i guess these are these are all the problems i mean the more common problems with these bmws there are so many other problems but these are the most common ones then i can tell about it so if you're planning to buy a a 750 a 2007 750 is a really nice looking car but you have to keep in mind and you will have uh some problems with it uh it's a really I, I like it it's my personal car it's my favorite car i invest a lot of money on it but uh, i know then uh it's very expensive expensive to maintain this vehicle so if you planning to buy one of these just keep on mind then you want to spend some money fixing it okay so thank you very much for your time and have a great day